Hello lovely humans and welcome to my official room tour video at my new apartment. Um, I'm so excited to do this one for you guys. Um, I just moved here not too long ago and my room is kind of a work in progress but I am going to do two different ones. So this one is going to be sort of the you know, so far how it's progressed video. And then I'm gonna make a second one when I'm fully decorated and finished. So I thought it would be fun to split it into two parts. Um, so anyway, I hope you lovely humans are doing okay. And I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit tonight um, before the room tour video to give you some updates. <sighs> Sir Sugarcane says, get on with it already. Hey, Sir Sugarcane, excuse me for wanting to take my own time. Um, but yeah, since I'm doing the room tour video, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice and share my story a little bit about the tough position I was in before I moved here. Um, I did make a video before this, I'll link it at the end of this one, about struggling for the last four months, the hardest four months of my life. I was in a living situation that was just very uncomfortable. I didn't feel comfortable there, I didn't feel at home, and it just was not a good time for me to go through at all on any level. But basically, when I was feeling really, really, really down, one thing I kept telling myself was that this feeling and these misfortunes cannot last forever. When bad things happen, they don't continue to happen. Things can only get bad for so long before they slowly start to get better. And it may not feel like that all the time, especially when you have a lot of unfortunate things happening in your life all at once. It can become easy to get rather depressed and to get down and to start doubting that things are going to pick back up again. Trust me guys, I know better than anyone what that feels like. So I just had to keep reminding myself that someday it'll all make sense. And in a way, it kind of helped recenter me, it helped me feel better, and it helped me feel not alone. Another thing though that's really important, guys, is I wasn't alone. I talked to my family and friends as much as possible. I made sure I had my support systems close by. And when I was struggling, I vented. <laughs> I vented to those closest to me about my struggles, and there is nothing wrong with that. You need to find people to surround yourself with that will allow you to do that. And the people that really love you, your friends, your family, whoever you consider your loved ones, they will be there to listen to you. And they should be, because that's what people who love you do. Another thing that I did was I tried to remain very spiritual. I kept a spiritual practice, I tried to meditate as often as I could, and I tried ultimately to... I journaled a lot, I'll tell you guys that much. I wrote a lot, and honestly journaling really, really, really helps when you're going through stuff like that. So writing down your thoughts works wonders, and for me, that was my way of staying spiritual, but you can find any way that works for you. So make sure you find your own way to stay on a spiritual path where you could see something in the horizon that's positive and hold on to that hope. So my three tips for dealing with a hard time until things start to get better is to remind yourself that things are not gonna be bad forever, they're going to get better. Two, vent and vent to your loved ones. Find people who will listen to you. And three, stay spiritual in whatever way works for you. So that's my advice. And without further ado, time to see my room. Do, 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 do. Oh, also, I filmed this on another night. So this video I did on a separate night. So I'm going to be in a different outfit. But okay, enjoy the room tour part one. Bye. Hello, and welcome to my... I just got texts. Welcome to my unofficial, well, sort of almost room tour because I'm not totally settled. So I thought a good idea would be to do a video of my room, how it is now. It's not perfect, but to just update you guys on my progress. So here is the first video. I hope you guys enjoy. So as you guys could see, um, I don't know if you can really tell, but this room is a lot bigger than my last room in my old apartment. Um, I really am kind of shocked at what a difference it is. I don't think I really realized where I lived before that my room was not really that nice. It just kind of felt nice to me, but it really kind of wasn't. So I'm really excited to show you guys around. So let's start the tour. So I guess I'll start at my door. <laughs> Might as well start where the entrance is. Um, I hung this unicorn over my door on this hook because spiritually I am a fairy and I thought that would be appropriate and I love unicorns. And I got a new laundry bag. This is great um, because I don't know if you guys know this, but um, if you don't live in the city, you might not know that doing your laundry is kind of a hassle. 
you have to walk many blocks with your laundry on your back. And this actually turns into a backpack. Pretty cool. And it's also adorable. Um, so this is my laundry bag. It just hangs up. These cool like wooden hangers actually came with the apartment. And I was like so in awe over them. I was like, that's, they just look cool. You know what I mean? They're woodsy. They're perfect for hanging stuff. And trust me guys, I have a lot of stuff that I need to hang. Like, I have too many things. Way too many things. I have like a problem. Like, I just collect too many things. You guys will notice that and find that out the more that I do these videos, but. Yeah, so pretty much that's been a win. Um, another hanger for my purses and stuff. And my strawberry girl. I take my strawberry girl with me everywhere. Um, so this wall has another hanger for purses. My adorable Rila Kuma purse. <laughs> and got some Steven Universe stuff up here. Some Rainbow Bright. I put this quote, be happy, do good, bring your sparkle to the world. And um, up here, I have a really important quote to me by my therapist. <laughs> Not even ashamed to admit that. And um, some more quotes, and here's my mirror. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. So I have my mirror right here. My bed is behind me. And moving on. Oh, this is so cool. This is like this little fairy light thing that you could paint. So wait, I'll show it to you guys because we're looking. So here, you could actually decorate this and it becomes like a little desk lamp and I thought that was so cute. So this is definitely a project I will be doing. So here is my closet. Um, I am sure you guys remember the um, saga, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, of my door to my closet falling off in my old apartment. It was pretty traumatic and annoying. Um, but these doors are literally amazing and the complete opposite, so I'll show them to you guys. So here's most of my clothes. My shoes are down here. I like the way I have them lined up. I feel very organized here, which is nice. I feel like I finally, for the first time in my life, kind of have room for all my stuff, which is a great feeling. So yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, there's a lot of stuff up at the top too. Oh, also, <laughs> I have to show you guys. So I got this dress at Target and it is like the cutest dress I've ever seen in my life. It literally makes me feel like a princess. Maybe I'll wear it in the next video, but this was my birthday dress, so. Okay, this is my favorite part of the apartment. <laughs> this shelving unit came with the apartment, and it's perfect for me to display my crystals and my figurines and all the things that are important to me. So up here we got Kirby. Kirby! I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a huge Kirby fan. Um, got a little dinosaur. We got my old unicorn that used to be on my keys, but she has broken, but I still keep her. Um, this mug I got, I just, I, I, I'm just keeping it there for now. There's no reason it's there. Um, little Hello Kitty figurines, and cinema roll. He is a Sanrio character that, um, I don't think is as popular, but he's really important to me, and I actually have him. Look at that face. Let me see if I could, like, the thing is he doesn't stand, though, so that's kind of annoying. I don't know if I could, like, fully stand him up, because he keeps... He has very big ears, guys. Let's see, focus, focus, focus. He's adorable. And then, um, I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet. Down here, I have my crystals and my wand and my computer desk. Here is the new area for my computer desk. Oh, um, so of course, as always, I have my candle burning. Um, yeah, I just kind of chill out here. And the blinds in this room are so cool. They're actually wooden blinds, which I think is very rare for a New York apartment. Very, very cool. Oh, and I also put some cute wall decals. Okay, so story time to explain the wall decals. I've been applying for more online teaching jobs because times are tough right now. And um, one of the things that many of these companies require is for you to have a backdrop that you could decorate yourself in any way that you want. So I was just Googling adorable characters. Um, and when I was younger, like 12, 13, 14, I used to draw a lot of manga. <laughs> I actually bought like those tutorial booklets that are like how to draw manga characters and I would draw my own and like, I was very passionate about it. So these cute little pictures kind of reminded me of that, especially this girl up at the top because I knew that little girl me would be so proud of myself being an adult grown woman now with her own apartment in New York. And I think seeing 
those characters hanging on my wall. I think that would make that little girl part of me proud who's always wanted to live here, so kind of an emotional thing. <laughs> Moving on. So, oh, oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. I got a new chair. <laughs> the chair in my old apartment literally started to break. I don't know why, but everything in my old apartment was like disintegrating. My door fell off, my chair broke. Um, I think the universe was just like, okay, time to move on, Kelly. And I decided to bedazzle my desk. Yes, I bedazzled it. I put all these gems on it. I wanted it to be cute. I have no shame, I love it. And here is my jewelry thing. I have all of my earrings organized. This was actually a project I did before I moved. Um, have my hair clips up here. Another cute picture. And here is something I'm really excited about. I've decided to create a teaching corner for me in my room. So this is my backdrop here. I actually made this poster myself. Um, put a lot of cute little characters on it. Unicorns, puppies, my favorite things. Cute little fairy-ish anime girls. Yeah, I'm a big dork, but I think this poster pretty much explains myself. And um, yeah, some of my old teaching artwork that I made. So when I teach my classes, I'm gonna just use this desk that actually came with the apartment and teach them right here, which I'm like super pumped about. Having a teaching corner, it's always been kind of a dream of mine, so I'm really excited. Also, I just had a birthday, so I have some birthday cards from my mom and my dad. They're both very beautiful, and I love them. Thank you, guys. I do want to say that. And this minion is a present from my sister. <sighs> I guess I'll have to tell you guys the story about that. Well, I'm pretty sure all of you guys know about Despicable Me, um, but I was very annoyed um, at the beginning of that whole thing when the minions were kind of like taking over the world. I just feel like they were everywhere. No matter what store you went to, you could not escape the minions. They were all over TV. They were just everywhere. And they always just like, I know it's weird to think because minions are cute, right? That's why people like them because they're cute and funny, but they just kind of annoyed me. I don't know. I don't, I think it's their voices. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I just don't like minions very much. And my sister decided it would be very funny to just torture me with minions publicly. So she started off by posting a million different minion memes and pictures on my Facebook wall. And people were kind of probably thinking, what, what's wrong with Kelly? Why is her sister posting all these minions on her wall? Is she obsessed with minions? What is it? And then it got to the point where she was just buying me minions and like putting them in my room. I would come home from college and there would be like three minions on my bed. Then she drew a picture of a minion and she like taped it to my bedroom door. Like, so the ongoing joke with us is that Erin tortures me with minions. So this year for my birthday, she got me this guy. And do you know what's so funny? I actually like him. I think he's cute. Look, he's like, he's just chill. He's like, what's up, dude? I don't care. Life's, I, I just take life day by day and I don't have a worry in the world. So moving on, uh, the part of my room I'm not too proud of, and for the final room tour video, this will be taken care of. Um, right now my clothes are in these bins. I'm just trying to separate them and figure out where to put everything. I have my umbrella here, so this I need to figure out what to do with, but for now, it's I think it's pretty organized. I don't feel too bad about it. Um, my favorite picture in the world. This is a picture. Um, I made this as a collage when I first started college. I was gonna fill the whole thing up with pictures, but I got too bored and I stopped. So in this white area, I decided to have everyone in my life who ever meant something to me sign this. Um, and I, I was like, you could sign whatever you want. It could be a quote, it could be your initials, it could just be hi, like whatever. So it's a very important piece to me. I know it's kind of like a big jumble of stuff. There are some real pictures, like here's me and my sister here. Oh, we look cute. This is actually me and my best friend, Elkin. <laughs> and up here, that's me and my childhood friend, Kelly D. So this I bring with me everywhere, it's important to me. And then over here, more windows. Look at all the windows, so many windows. I love that this room gets so much sunshine. It kind of like sold me on it. And then up here, this cute little love board came with the room. And of course I hung up my twinkle lights, la, and my bed. Here's my bed with all of my pillows. I have, of course, my Joy from Inside Out, my Hamtaro, my little lace pillow, um, some quarantine buddy friends. It's my little Steven. <laughs> These plushies, this one, 
this one and this panda were sent to me by my very good friend during quarantine and they've been very cuddly and awesome to spend time with. And yeah, so that is my bed. It's a nice size. Oh, and this poster, this I got when I was like 20 and I was first starting college. And I kind of want to get rid of it. I don't know why. Um, I just think it belonged to a part of my life that I no longer want to think about. So I'm actually considering getting rid of it. But I'm not quite sure yet. Um, it's just interesting how some things, even if they're just things, can like hold like emotional value and make you feel a certain way because they're connected to different parts of your life that were significant. Um, so I think it's important sometimes to you know, reevaluate and get rid of things that no longer serve you. And that's kind of how I feel about that poster. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. I, it's really crazy sometimes how impactful our memories could be. You know what I mean? Oh, and one more thing, my fuzzy rug. I got this pink fuzzy rug. I love it, 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 I love it. I think it brings some nice color to my room. So yeah, that is the room tour for now. Thanks for watching.